Hey everybody, this is L.O.D. Wise, and today we are going to be playing some more creative verse. Uh, this is going to be episode 3, I guess. Um, let me quarter this time I'm in vault. Actually, what I was thinking about doing is taking all of my um, little crates I have upstairs, bring them down here, and kind of make a vault, and kind of organize it just a little bit better than what I have, actually. So, uh, I got ahead, and this is kind of what I've done. I built into the garden. I'm taking up a little back door back there. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess we've tamed a few more of these little guys. Uh, what we're going to do today is actually going to build a bridge back there. Across that little bit of water. So this is really kind of... Oh, wow, look at that. Nice, okay. This is going to be the roof. This is kind of what I did. I put glass in the bottom. Thatch for the ceiling, which I kind of like the look of it anyways. I got to rip the ceiling out up here and put thatch up here. And then what we've done... Is kind of cleaned up the uh, area here. Try to actually go ahead and make it a little flatter. Trying to clean things up. Trying to make things a little bit better. I honestly think I have gone ahead. I think I've destroyed the spawns. I'm gonna have to rip the roof off or something because nothing has spawned here. Only thing I could be thinking about maybe they did spawn and they are now. I don't know somewhere out in the world. I don't know. I have not seen a damn thing for freaking basically days. And, yeah, I, I honestly don't really know what's happening here. So, I've gone ahead and added a few more little phaser things in here. So, we can go ahead and start, more or less, making unlimited resources. What the hell? That's one hell of a spawn, I guess. Let me get rid of this old turd. Damn, that's weird. I've never seen one just spawn in the middle of the floor before. Okay, so what we're going to do is let me go ahead and let me work on the bridge. We will uh, kind of speed it up a little bit because it, you know, it's probably going to take a little bit. So let me speed it up and then we'll basically just kind of uh, go from there. And then what we'll do is we'll move on out into the uh, other area. And you can see what I've kind of planned on and actually you know, built out there in the ice zone that we originally cut out. So that's kind of interesting. He's stuck inside there. Okay, so guys, I'll be back here in a couple minutes.
All right, guys, we're back here. This is kind of watch how I built that sucker. This is kind of neat looking. I kind of came out honestly the way I kind of wanted to. I kind of at first I was just going to make a normal bridge, but then I figured with the chains I built this way, it kind of looks like they're hanging from the four supports that's down there in the water, trying to hold it up. I may cut those out then, or maybe something like that. Maybe take another one of these uh, the tin roof, flip it around, and stick one there. And I can't stick one there, but I can stick one right here and make it like one piece just to make it really seriously look like it's hanging from that. Actually, let's see if maybe if we can go ahead and do that. Oh, jeez. I don't know if you can actually do that, really. I I'm stuck on an invisible wall for some reason. Well, that's kind of wonky. That was weird. Like there's some sort of invisible wall in there. to kind of play around with it. Actually, that kind of looks kind of cool. Well, they kind of have to play around with this. Maybe we'll see if we can find a way to get the thing to kind of flip itself around. I mean, other than that, I mean, it still looks okay. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't look the best when it comes to that part down there, but honestly, it came out very nice. And okay, so basically what we've done here, that's the uh, new little bridge there. This is the big testing and screw up, more or less. What I've done, I've used, used some of the extractor to see maybe if we can go ahead and do like a, um, start taking out massive amounts at one time, which they work. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's not a precision. And when you stick those suckers down, they just kind of take everything. What I was trying to do is try and take the trees out with those things, but just is not working well at all so I had to sit there and what I was doing is putting dynamite down blowing up parts of the tree then trying to just whittle it down which good lord normal trees wouldn't be too bad but these freaking trees they're just so damn tall and ridiculous so this may take this is definitely gonna be one hell of a uh, undertaking only mainly because of the damn trees Especially this entire area is supposed to be strip mined all the way down to the freaking uh, corruption level. Oh shit! See, uh, yeah, this is going. It's going to take a little bit to get taken care of. So we might do a um, construction video or whatever else on this area here. But so this is kind of what I've been testing out, trying to find the best way to actually go ahead and cut these trees out and cut everything down. But this thing is definitely not being helpful at all. We need to find like a little easier way to actually start to... If you guys can add a freaking flamethrower into this game, that'd be awesome. Then we can just burn the stupid things down and be done with it. Don't have to worry about this uh, taking one piece at a time crap. I could just burn the damn thing down. So, this is actually kind of where... Actually, I want to go see what we got from those four upstairs. What I've done this time... Last time what I was doing is... We only got... What was it? Like, coal or whatever? I was feeding them only bread. This time I actually fed them what they wanted. A soup, sandwich, and then bread. Of course, these guys are the corrupt to the crap. But let's see what we got here today. Wow, diamond. That's a good one, actually. Good lord, I need a whole bunch of these. Oh, wow, okay. Don't think I really need it, but yeah, anyways. Okay, I've noticed if you feed them exactly what they want, they get better stuff. I guess it kind of makes sense, but... Well, not him, but... Cheap little bastard. God, stingy little turd. Okay, well, I guess now. 
it sort of worked. It kind of gave us kind of what we wanted, a little bit more, a little bit less. So, so we're gonna just go ahead and wash these old turds up. And also, I don't know if anybody else has been having these bugs where your animals just randomly spawn wherever the hell they want to when you log in to the uh, server. I had to like log out three or four times to get these creatures back in their location. And those ones downstairs, I just had to go outside and grab them and actually walk them back inside the house. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know if anybody else has that problem. But if you are, post them down there and see maybe if anybody else is having that problem. Maybe it's just a known bug or something. Okay, so basically this is kind of where we're at today. Um, let's go ahead. I think what we need to do is uh, the next step really would be going back out there and maybe cutting down some more trees. Trying to get that territory you know, cleaned up a little bit more. I cut these two trees. I cut that one out that was there and I cut out two or three that was where the uh, bridge was at to try to actually make this place a little more open so you can actually see what's going on. Wow, those things, I didn't know those things got that much of uh, beeswax. It's nice, I didn't know that. So we may need to plant some more of these maybe and try to get some more beeswax on some of the other ones because we're kind of running out on the wax part. But yeah, let's just do that actually. Let's go ahead and what we'll do is we will go out there and start doing some mining and whatever else. Okay, we'll just go from there. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of speed this up a little bit. Be back in a few minutes.
All right, well, I think, honestly, this, we're going to stop right here. Uh, that tar fire sort of worked. I mean, it actually technically burnt the damn tree down, but it made a bigger mess in some areas. Holy shit. Next, okay. So, basically, it fixed some of the problems, but it didn't really fix all the problems. So, what we're going to do next, I guess, will be finish tearing down this one tree. Oh, cut this mountain completely out, more or less. Try to get this thing somewhat level. Still got a water problem under that big ass mess. But other than that, I mean, the fire one, the uh, the tar fire did actually work. It actually burned out quite a bit. But I think the water just kind of put out the fire. So we may have to kind of work a little different way with this. Maybe try some other way. But it worked. Honestly, I'm just pretty happy with the way, the way it came out. So, uh, what we'll do next is, I guess, just finish cutting this tree out. And then probably what we'll do is go from here all the way over to here. Cut this out. We may have to go up and slice out that tree up there. This one right here, maybe. You know, kind of just knock it completely out. And then what we'll do is just go ahead and from there. There, so we gotta follow up the fucking hole anymore. Uh, then basically from there we can just get this section cleaned out. All one level. And I guess we'll move on to the next area after this hill is taken care of. So I guess, well, I guess I will uh, catch you guys next time. And uh, we'll start working on more of oh, crap. Of the, um, work on more of the um, massive... I guess at this point it's a ice castle thing, whatever. It's gonna be big, so we're gonna need this entire zone. So, like I said, this is gonna be one hell of a feat to be able to take all of this out. So, alright, guys, I'll catch you guys next time.